In a marriage ceremony, it all depends on the resources of the groom. Traditionally, we give 10 colas to go and ask for a girl's hand in marriage, even if it's the daughter of a king. But now, we give whatever we want. You can give 20 colas, or even give it in kilos. It's a product that's rare to find. There are people who don't need money if you give them only 10 cola nuts. To them, it's worth more than money. In places like Mali, Burkina, Niger, and Central Africa, it's better than millions, and it's a great sign of respect for the person you're offering it to. Cola is an anti-fatigue weight loss product. It's also known to be an aphrodisiac. So it's an ideal health product. Using the cola nut helps provide the body with the antioxidants it needs. And today, we know that antioxidants are important in the fight against cancer and certain metabolic diseases. Cola is a well-placed product. The Ivory Coast is the largest producer of cola nuts. The reason is that Ivorians consume very little of the locally produced cola nut. Nigeria is the second largest producer and the first consumer of cola nuts. When it comes to the export process, conservation of cola remains difficult. The cola that you see right there is more than a year old. The University of Obobo Ajime is doing research about it, how to conserve cola without toxic products so that it can be sold in supermarkets. The price is negotiated between the trader and the producer, the trader and the exporter, and between the exporter and the buyer all fluctuate. For example, here in Anayama, you can be in the same town, have two different stores side by side, and have totally different prices. In the morning, the cola can be 100 francs a kilo, and in the afternoon, it could be 500 francs. Cola is a very good business. It's disappointing that we don't have the same fixed pricing as other products, but we do well. This must change. We have to reach a minimum price that will be fixed to allow the producers to make a good living from the production of cola nuts. In order to determine this minimum price, we started with research into the cola nut market, both domestic and foreign markets. The idea is to determine the different steps and the different players that will allow us to set this minimum price. The research is currently underway and we don't have the results yet. If you are interested in cola, I would advise you to get into the business. It's the business of the future. As cola nuts continue to play a role in celebrations across Africa, its clear demand will continue, something that makes those in the industry very happy.